I'm going to show you how to see inside of any product uh, in two minutes. If you don't know about this, it's a pretty big one. This one is a Roomba vacuum cleaner, and you'll find on the label. Generally, they put this sticker in a protected place, or at least uh, such that it will not be destroyed for some time. Um, then you're going to find the FCC ID. That's these digits ending in zero here. The FCC is the Federal Communications uh, people, and they're responsible for a huge amount of stuff, like, you know, when you have an airplane and those are communicating to the towers, then those need to operate over a certain radio frequencies. And in order for all of our machines and the whole society to work without interfering with one another, everything that communicates wirelessly, Bluetooth, um, Wi-Fi, etc., they must have a registration with the Federal Communications people. So you will go to FCC.gov, and this is owned by the U.S. government, and then you're going to enter into the search form the first few characters and then the remaining characters. There's further instructions if you get confused. So in my case, it's TLZ, yada, yada. Um, you're going to click search, and then uh, sometimes it takes a while. Then you will start learning information immediately. So for example, this device inside of the Roomba was manufactured by Azure Wave. At least I think that's how this works. You're gonna learn all about their company and their registration and who owns it, where it is, etc. And then come back to details. Under the details, you're gonna get something about exhibits list and you're gonna to get tons and tons of information, test reports, internal photos, etc. So I clicked external photos part one, and then that instantly gets me a PDF. It looks to be about 38 pages of photos of all of the internal FCC related components. And so, I mean, this is just a starting point. There's massive heaps of data that I have never actually explored to learn all about it. I have used this process during some activities of developing circuits or gadgets, uh, basically for benchmarking. So I'm gonna verify, are they using Bluetooth? Are they using a different technology? And maybe, for example, this is gonna tell me what kind of antenna are they using? And that is, I believe that's an antenna uh, connector, maybe uh, SMA type, and you can certainly verify all that information by diving in more. So benchmarking is part of design and resources for benchmarking include these topics I've talked about. I have also introduced how to find brochures, and I haven't gotten into patents.